Hello. Hello. Yes, yes. Did I say you can call me now or not? No, you did not say, right? I did not say that. No, sir. Uh, is it okay? Okay, what do you want to say? Go ahead. Okay, first of all, I just want to say that uh, we had a very good conversation. I learned a lot from you last time. Okay. And I would like, I'm grateful for that. Hmm. And number two, your followers, the people on chat, they were mocking me and they were cursing me. And that's not the right, I believe that's not the right teaching of Christ. Yeah, exactly. They, yeah. Can mock, so, they, they can mock the idea, they can mock the stupid things you might say, but not you yes. as a person. Okay. And they were being racist and there was an American guy and he was being racist. And I just want to tell this American guy that Jesus was not an American. He was not a white man. Uh, and, uh, my friend, my friend, anyone here is racist. He don't. He, he has nothing to do with a Christian. Maybe he's a Muslim yes. because there's many Muslims. They come to my chat. No, he was chat. he was taking your side, and he was. Uh, Doesn't matter. Saying, there's there's Muslims. They and, come uh, here Jesus. and they, there's Muslims. They come here and they play to be even. Okay. They they, they use even the name of uh, Sam Shamoon or the name of David yeah, but, Good or the yeah, name of etc. Yes, so don't yes, be afraid. Yes. Anyway, the one who yes. knew that you uh, is Muslim. That being said, you, that being said, are you against racism? Yeah. Are you against racism? Yes, sir. So how come you are not against Islam? That being said, you were asking me to mention you something about uh, Christianity. Yeah, but because uh, I want as, to learn more from you. Mention, as long as you are a Muslim, before we go to Christianity, as long as you mention to me uh, uh, racism, how come you are not against Islam? Let's let's talk about uh, Christianity and okay, I'll, we can I'll, talk about Christianity. I'll answer we'll all your about, questions because last about, time we, we will talk last about time Christianity. I, no problem. If you are against uh, racism. Are no, you it's, against? It's, uh, are you against Muhammad being a racist? Or you support? No, are you that? not talking about Christianity because it's, we will it's, talk, it's a we will talk very, about you, Christianity. Are you ashamed of talking, talking about, about Christianity? Talking about it. You will give me the verse from the Bible. We'll read it. No problem. But I'm asking you now. If you yeah, are truthful, I will. I will talk you, to you about uh, racism both in Christianity and Islam. Okay, so let us start with Islam. Okay. Are so you, are is, you against racism in Islam? I'm very much against racism in okay. in uh, Islam, in Christianity, in all the religions. But let me let me begin with Christianity because that's where we left last time. Okay, go ahead. Give me give me a chance. Thank okay, you. Go. <laughs> so tell me, uh, how can someone sell his daughter for slavery? Is that is that what kind of religion is uh, that? You know, you, you see, when people they mock you in the chat, I don't blame them there because this is stupid. What does this have to do with racism? Exodus Exodus twenty one. What does this have to do with racism? No, I'm 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 talking about Christianity. No, I'm talking about Christianity. Now you said you want to show me racism in Christianity. And no, you want to you want to pick okay, and let, choose okay, what you want to say. Okay, no, you said racism. So let because me I, okay, I, are, are you ashamed answer, of this? Answer. Are you let ashamed me, what let is me in the Bible? Answer you. No, we're not ashamed. We never ashamed. This is why so, we have so answer there. me then. You see, if we are ashamed, we will not keep it there. How can you sell your daughter to slavery? I will tell you how. Just don't be stupid. This is about selling the service for your daughter or even yourself. The Hebrew. There are ground rules. Exodus twenty-one. Shut up. Let me answer you. A Hebrew person, he can sell his service to be a slave for seven years. No, maximum. he doesn't say that. Seven Exodus years twenty-one. Seven years put maximum. it on the screen. Read twenty-one, the verse Exodus. seven to eleven. You are a stupid. You are a stupid. Father can sell his you daughter to slavery. You are a stupid, and you are not a truthful man. Let me ask you: If I make a challenge to you and I show you the proof that a Hebrew person can be a slave, he can give his ser a service up to seven years maximum. I'm not talking about the same chapter. I'm not talking about the same chapter. I'm talking about Exodus 21. This is a book. This verse is not seven up to you. This is not up to you. So they give their service. When you say they sell, they are saying. I'm talking about the Bible. It's in your up. Bible. Oh, I'm talking about the Bible too. I don't want to scream and lose my voice. Who care about the same chapter or not? This is a book. This is not a chapter. This is the law of the Jews. So when we say the law of the Jews, they have a law. You don't take one phrase and you you say I don't want to follow the other law. There's no contradiction in the law. So a Hebrew man he gave himself as a slave. Those at that time people they are poor. The one who cannot make money he cannot make living. He go to a rich man he says me and my family my daughter my wife all of us we would like to be your slaves or if you cannot take us all of us well me or my daughter. So the sale of a daughter here is not a sale. Because that person cannot even sell that person. It's a sale of service. Today you sign a contract, you want to work with somebody for a year. So either you want to be a coward, either you Hello? want to be a coward, you don't want to listen, and you are a hypocrite. Let me ask you. So are you a person who says, if a, if a verse in the Quran says something, 
and a verse in the, in the Quran say different, uh, uh, something complete to it. We take only one verse? No, we are not taking only one verse. We are taking the whole chapter. Exodus okay. 21, no problem. verse 7 okay. through 11. Hold on, hold on. So do Can we you take put it one, on the okay. screen? Do we take only one chapter or we take the whole chapter? We take the whole book. So if the if one chapter... Do we uh, take the whole book or we take only one, one You're cherry-picking Islam, but you're not cherry-picking Christianity. Cherry. Are you ashamed you of that? A it's you who is making cherry for a chapter. Okay, shall I go to another chapter about slavery? Who cares? There's so you see, many. We, there are uh, tons. Okay, there are tons. Uh, it's so not the only so one. You are stupid. You are stupid. You are saying to me, I just answer you that a person, a Hebrew, he can be serving as a No, slave, I'm talking about a father selling daughter to slavery. This, this is not the a same. Hebrew person. This is the answer. This is the answer. I give you the no, answer. No, there are ground rules answer. for a, okay, what, what, okay, what the, what let, the slave okay, should let, do. Uh, okay, hold on. Let's hold on. So I'm, I'm, I'm going to ask you right now Do you Muslim sell your daughter for slavery? No, in Christianity we don't we do that, but not in Islam. We first don't sell all, daughters for slavery. All, first of all, you eat it. This is not Christianity. This is Judaism, and this is the law of Moses. Yeah, we but follow. you're not following. Secondly, this is the Bible. You don't no, follow that. No, no, we follow. We, you don't we, believe in isn't that. It, isn't it your prophet Tell, says this is the law? Of okay, what about what about Peter two eighteen? Slaves submit to your masters. You see, don't be stupid. That's the Bible. We can't talk that's your Second Testament. We can't talk in the same time. All right. So. Isn't it your Quran says that the law of the Torah was given to Moses? Yeah, but then it was changed. Who changed it? Uh, people did. Where? Because, uh, okay, let's talk about the second uh, don't, don't, testament. Don't, don't, we are following the Slaves topic. submit to don't your change, masters, don't Peter 2.18. Don't change, don't change, come on, don't change, one by one. You just said it's changed. How it's changed? I don't know how it changed. Uh, maybe you change it. No, I don't so, know who changed so why it. Your Quran saying because you're 2,000 years old. So, maybe you okay, change hold, it. Hold on. So why are you are stupid Quran saying, I agree with what you have? Yeah, with, with, the, with the original book. We agree with what you have. Okay, what you have. But you say you're going back again to the Bible because you're ashamed of Christianity. Okay, let us see. I talked to you. I talked to you. Okay, let us see. I talked to you for one hour only say, about Islam say, last time because I'm not ashamed no, of Islam. No, you are you are ashamed of Islam and not I'm not ashamed of Islam. I talked to you for one you hour no, listen, and, and you were defeated. Listen, That's why you don't want, want to talk read, to me. That's why you're hanging you up because you're not you're you are you are ashamed of your books. Let us see with a shame. You are angry because I may I wipe the floor with you. You are the one who agree that your god is the moon god. Yes, so what's what's okay. wrong with that? What's Would, wrong with that? The moon god means you are worshipping the devil. The moon god is a... No, we are not worshipping the devil. We are so, worshipping okay. God. Let, 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 read for me in the screen in front of you. You say that... The, you are worshipping a man. Let us so, see. We worship a man. No problem. But this man is God. Yeah, but so the same way. The same way. No, it's, it's just no, the image. No, no. This the image you, of God. This man you are talking about, he's alive or dead? The man is alive, not God. God is I'm not. You, God is there. This man we are worshiping. His cannot, life. So if, is, if this man is alive, then do you, the are you telling me that is, we, the man we are worshiping is he alive or dead? So you, you are telling me that there are two gods now. This is not the question. There's a man who's alive, who's stupid, God, and then stupid, there's God. Abdul, don't be stupid. I'm asking you. The one we worship, he's a man. Why you is don't he, want to talk about Exodus 21 verse are, 7 we, we, we answer you. We answer you about it. You are the one. What, who what said about Peter? What about Peter? You are the one. Slave, submit to your sister. You are the one who said that the Bible has been changed, so we have to cover that too. We are going for all Matthew chapter 5, verse 28. Does Anyone who looks at a woman and thinks Quran of her says, commits adultery, Abdul, what kind of book is this? Uh, what, 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 say again? Anyone who looks at a woman and thinks of her commits adultery, what kind of book is this? Okay, so you're a prophet. He went you you, you look at a woman and you have committed ad adultery. You look at that's her. in your Bible, the New Testament. Okay, you, do you, you don't agree with that, right? Yeah, if I look okay. at a woman, have I committed last, adultery? What kind time, of book is last that? Time, last what time, kind of religion last, is that? Last time you called me, two days ago, I said to you, you're a prophet. He made a verse saying, any woman, she can offer herself to the prophet to if her. You said to me, women, they love to sleep with the prophet because they want to do No, I said women, women are attracted to famous and big people. That's what I said to you. Okay, so in the Bible, it says you have to be decent. If a man, he look at the woman, she is not his, that will make him commit an adultery. Which means the Bible that doesn't make sense. Uh, it doesn't make sense because you are a faithful any, Muslim. Because anyone who thinks of her, anyone who thinks of her commits adultery. If I'm thinking of a woman, I'm committing adultery. Because you are a faithful person, you are saying to me that if you go to your wife, your 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 brother or your son wife, you look at her. And women are stupid and inferior to I'm men and should you, just shut I'm up. Humanity too. 
We will go to that. Timothy verse two. Two, we will go, chapter two, we will go, uh, verse eleven to fourteen. Like a monkey, don't make me. No, there are so many things. No, you, you, are, you are jumping one like one a monkey. I'm just telling you. you. What's one wrong with your one, Bible? One what kind of book one. is this? One by one, are you saying to me that if you go to your own son, it's okay to look at your son wife and you desire her? No, you can you can look at any woman and it's adultery. Any woman you look at, you you have a, you have a job, and there are so many women at your job place, and you're, you're looking at them, them, and you're you, you are a stupid donkey. Ooh. This is not what the verse says. Don't call me again. It's talking about a man he desire a woman. You son of Muta. Where these donkeys come to me from? So if this is make the Bible bad, so what is good then? What good is Muhammad the coward? He went to his own son. He flirt with the wife in the house of the husband and this man complaining that the bible says if you look at the women and you desire her you are bad can you believe how filthy this cult is he is angry saying what kind of religion this it says if you desire a woman she is not yours what kind of religion this religion is in the same time we have the quran saying Allah was speaking to Muhammad saying, why you hide what is in your heart and what Allah revealed to you about Zainab? The God of Muhammad is encouraging Muhammad. To have a desire to a married woman while she is married. And the story he represent to us after Muhammad, he went to the house of his own son and he flirted with the wife when she was in the house of the husband. She's not divorced, she's not separated. And the husband, he came back home. The wife, she told him, by the way, your father was here. And he said to me, praise be to Allah, the one who flipped my heart for you. And he saw her naked. The husband, the hadith says, Fafatina Zaid. So Zaid, he noticed. Fatin, which means like not only notice, like he got he got it, you know? Uh oh. So he went to his father and he said to him, Father, this woman she hurt me. She say she is very proud, she is a bad woman. She always speaks to me from above. I want to divorce her. Look at the filthy Muhammad, he says to him, Oh uh, no, don't divorce her. Like, come on. I mean the filthy guy a second ago was in the house of the husband flirting with the wife and when the husband came to him saying after he heard that his wife already cheating with the with, with his with his father and he knew that this father will kill him he's a monster he's a beast this father said to him the son why are you want to divorce her huh why are you going to do that why you say i look at the translation you're free to slaves and you know why you want to divorce her <laughs> keep her to yourself this potato is upset you see you are just a stupid fool that's why I'm not going to waste my time and as long as you are against slavery you son of Muta then what kind of religion all of it is about slavery if you are against slavery and you know he said this is racism do you see a stupidity? This is racism. We ask him, what is racism? He says, a father, he sell his daughter. All your Quran is about slavery. Even a slave of war in the Bible, you cannot have sex with a slave of war without marrying the slave. And a slave of war cannot be sold. It can be freed only. It's not for sale. Muhammad, he bought, he sold, he captured, he raped. The Quran in chapter 4, verse 24 says, It's forbidden for you to have sexual intercourse with married women, except those who they are captured. In the Bible, this is absolutely rejected. A man... If he want to have sex with the slave, he have to marry the slave. 
and that means the slave is free. So this potato, well, you know, this is the racism. What kind of religion says if a man he look at the women, this is bad now. This is bad. This is bad. Yes, because he's a Muhammadan. Muslim, they want to look at every woman walking by. Look at the filthy Muhammad, a woman she walk by. She's wearing a burqa. But she made Muhammad horny because Muhammad is filthy. So the Bible perverting the Christian, preventing the Christians from doing such an act. Islam is encouraging the Muslims to look at their own. If this guy he go to his brother house, he will start looking at her ass. For he's following Muhammad. People, did you hear it? He is wondering what kind of religion this religion says that if a man he look at a woman obviously a woman she is not his he committed adultery this Muslim he don't like that this Muslim is angry because this is not right and this is telling you that Muhammad is a perverted man and those who follow him they have to be perverted too this person have no problem to look at his own daughter maybe actually do you know that you can have sex with your daughter in Islam Mr. Christian Prince is lying there's the Quran there's a verse says you cannot have sex with your daughter no the Quran says you cannot have sex with your daughter from marriage but if you have a daughter out of marriage, you can have sex with her. This is how filthy this cult is. Chapter 25, verse number 54. We go and read the interpretation. It says, if a man he have sexual relationship, with a woman and he have a child from that woman he have no problem it is not haram for him literally to have sex with the mother which is a girlfriend now not a wife and his daughter because the Quran forbid him to have sex from his daughter from marriage anything out of marriage is not to be considered. And let us show the reference. We are not people who say things by making things up. Let us open the interpretation and you will see in a second how filthy this cult is. I can't even believe it. There is a there is a certified donkey. He says to us, "What kind of religion forbid you from looking at women? She is not not yours." Can you believe it? I opened the website of Saudi Arabia is not working. Let us try their website. It, the website open, but it doesn't show it, it show the inside of the link. Okay, let's open this one here. This is Tafsir al Qurtubi. This is Sunni Tafsir. This is not Shia. This guy is a Sunni. Value number 13, page number 59. And I'm going to show you the translation in English. Anyone who speak Arabic can read with me. And if you are a person who speak Arabic, call me please and you are a Muslim. I would love to hear you translating. It says here, 
النسب عبارة عن خلط الماء بين الذكر والأنثى على وجه الشرع فإن كان بمعصية كان خلقا مطلقا ولم يكن نسبا محققا ولذلك لم يدخل تحت قول حرمت عليكم أمهاتكم وبناتكم بنته من الزنا لأنها ليست ببنت له في أصح القولين لعلمائنا وأصح القولين في الدين وإذا لم يكن نسبا شرعا فلا صهر شرعا فلا يحرم الزنا ببنت أم ولا أم بنت وما يحرم من الحلال لا يحرم من الحرام Translation We will use Prophet Google Translation Are you watching Abdul? It's not forbidden for you According to the Sharia Lineage is only by marriage. So if there is no marriage, according to Sharia, adultery is not forbidden it. with the daughter or the mother. Because what is forbidden is not forbidden no more. Why? Because Allah approve only relationship by marriage, which means if you have a daughter, she is not a family daughter from a marriage, you can if that daughter. And this is according to the most accurate opinion in Islam. Read carefully. This is according to the scholars and the most correct opinion in the religion of Islam. This is Islam. So Muhammad, he owned a slave. It's okay. The Bible, there is a slave. It's bad. <laughs> Muhammad, he look at women walking by and he go to masturbate or he go to if his wife is okay. But the Bible says, if a man, he look at a woman, she is not his. He committed adultery. It's bad. What kind of religion this religion is? What kind of religion? Do you see the stupidity? And now do you see why people, they were laughing at you? So this guy is angry because last time he made his God as a joke. We were dying laughing. He said that his God is the moon God. I mean, I cannot even count how many stupid things he said exposing his religion. And now he thought he will make, take revenge. Do you have slavery in the Old Testament? Yeah, there is a slavery in the Old Testament, and this is racism. The whole Quran is a slavery. What kind of religion says that you can sell your daughter? We answer you. This daughter cannot be sold. You see, he is selling when the word they are, they are using the translation. The word sell here is a sale of with, with the let us say, uh, is a contract of service even the man he cannot sell that daughter to other person why because simply the contract is between one person and the other today you sign a contract with the company to work with them let us say i joined the army i was in the army so if i decide to leave i cannot leave because i sign a contract like usually contract they give you uh, sometime three years sometime five years mostly three years so three years contract if you try to leave before that day, they will send the MP to capture you. Literally, you are a slave of the army now. You own them, that's it. They own you, sorry. But you went there willingly. You are the one who signed the contract. So the contract maximum is seven years. After seven years, the slave is free. He is not a slave forever. A slave because he is poor. He is desperate to find a job. There's no company at that time, you go work, come back to me. Those people, they want people to be there 24 hours. All what they have is either farming or animals. They don't have a corporation of Apple or Microsoft or work from home. Speaking to the fool is a struggle. 
and the fool he decide looking at the women she is not yours is bad And your guy, you know, he said to us that this is not in the same book, right? Not the same chapter, sorry. But this is the same. He is just a donkey. This is Exodus 21.2. If you buy a Hebrew servant, you see it says a servant. Do you see? Do you know? Do you know why it says the word "servant" in translation? Some translation, because it simply present that the slave is a servant. So, six years when he entered the seven, he have to be released. So the maximum is six years and one day in the seven. So by the seven year, he's out. So this person, when he's he, when he sell himself to you, he's buying from who? Is buying you from yourself. You need money? Why I want to give you money? Okay, I will give you a return to be a service for you for a year. Depend how much money is. But the maximum is is total of seven years by the end of the six. Which means when you enter the seven year, you have to be free. As you see here, if you buy a Hebrew servant six years, he shall serve. And in the seven, seventh, he shall go out free for nothing, which means free of his debt. So you give him money in exchange of him being your servant. This is what the slavery you are talking about. No, it doesn't say that. You are a liar. This is different uh, book. This is the same book. Do you see how they are angry with foolishness? Do we have any Muhammadan? But anyway, this guy was a prices for us, and this is why he get angry because people they start laughing at what he said. His God is the moon God, and he said to me, "What's wrong with that? <laughs> What's wrong with his God is the moon God? <laughs> it's a contract, football player or not. It's a contract. It's a contract. This is how old days it is. There's no jobs like today." There is either poor people who have nothing. They have no land to do farming. They have no animals to grow. They have nothing. And there is somebody who have maybe everything. So the poor, he offer his service to the one who have everything. That is a slavery. Because literally, you are a slave. You will have full time of work. And this is why the Bible order the Jews that they have to stop working in the Sabbath. Why? So they cannot abuse their own slaves who they are offering service because Jewish, they were greedy and they make the servant work seven days a week. So the Sabbath came not because for God. That's why Jesus says Sabbath is not made for God. It was made for the man or let us say Sabbath was made for the man. Not man was made for Sabbath. Correct? Let us pull the verse. The Sabbath, which is made for them for the, for the man, God do not need a Sabbath. God do not need a Sabbath. It was made for your benefit. And here you see how Jesus, he was always amazing with his wisdom. The Jews, they worship the Sabbath, but they forgot that Sabbath was made for the man. 
is not made for God. What God will do with your Sabbath? This is how perverted this cult is. This man is, uh, is upset. He want to go to his own brother house and he want to look at the legs of his brother wife. What kind of religion says if you look at the women, you commit adultery? In the same time, Muhammad, he said that adultery is the destiny of Allah. So look how huge the difference between the teaching of the Bible and the book of the devil Muhammad. According to Muhammad, verily Allah has fixed the very portion of adultery which a man will indulge in and which he of necessity must commit. The adultery of the eye, the lust of the look, and the adultery of the tongue, and etc. All of this is what? is a fate so you don't even choose it in Christianity no in Christianity when you do adultery it was your choice in Islam adultery it was the choice of Allah do you see it people in Christianity if you look at a woman she is not yours you are committing adultery this is how tough Christianity is in Islam uh, you know, even the Quran says, Illa lemam. Look at look at this. Illa lemam. What is a lemam? <laughs> what is the heck? What the heck is that? <laughs> you know, if you, any Muslim want to call us and tell us what is a lemam? Any Abdul? I bet you 99% of them they don't know what I'm talking about. Any Abdul he knew what is a lemon mean? They have no idea. How they will know? A lemon is you go and you do have sexual relationship with the women, you touch her. You play with her private part, she play with your private part, you kiss her, even if you have intercourse but in the wrong location. That is a lemon. This is not a big sin in Islam. Let us see this person. Hello? Yeah, hello. Yes, my friend. Are you a Muslim? Hello, yes. Christian Prince. Yes. Yeah, uh, literally, I'm, an, uh, I'm still a Muslim, but you know what? Don't tell anybody. I want to get out. It's not, it's been, it's not, it's been very... You are, you, are life uh, on air. you are live on air now. Yeah, please don't tell anybody. It's serious, yeah? But I want to ask you air. about... But you are live on air. If you, if, I was, yeah. if you don't want me to tell anybody, are you, are you being like a joking or what? No, come no, 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 I'm not joking. Okay, look, I bought three of your books, both books here, yeah, right. the Sex okay, so Sex you, you and also... you do not want me to tell who is who are you as a person. Don't worry, always we keep our, uh, things private. Okay. All right. Yeah, please. But I, I'm from West Africa originally. I'm All currently right. living in, in Germany, okay? I am an asylum seeker in Germany, okay? You know how it works through this uh, migration stuff. And I'm there's nothing wrong about it, but I just I'm telling you. Okay, now I wanted to ask you about do you know anything about this group, this domination called uh Malikis? Because this yeah. is where uh this is exactly the type of Islam my family is practicing, okay? Yeah. And just last week I got into a very big fight virtually, argumentation, yeah, over the phone, okay? Yeah, so I wanted to did you know Christian Prince? Uh, the real truth about circumcision, you know, like women, they should be circumcised because if yeah. not, they will be very um, unruly and they will be looking uh, fighting for over over men, you know. So I had a lot of a lot about this, but it's a big big topic in West Africa right now, you know. And my position is that I don't want in future if I will be married, my daughter, I don't want my daughter to go through this circumcision. But it's something that is very rooted down there. 
So I want you to tell me, please, what did you see in the teachings of Islam? Because I understand from what I read from your books that most of these things are hiding from us. Okay? Yeah, the place is circumcision taught by the Prophet or is it in the Quran? Well, first of all, you know, uh, uh, Muhammad himself, he never been circumcised. Muhammad himself, he never been circumcised. Okay. And then you ask yourself why uh, Muhammad, he is teaching mm. people to circumcise. Uh, mm. And he himself did not practice it. The Muslim, they will say to you that Allah is the one who does circumcise uh, uh, the Prophet. So he did not need to anyone to circumcise him. And for sure, circumcision here is not really, uh, uh, you know, uh, a real circumcision. They say it's like, uh, uh, you know, uh, he circumcised him, you know, in his way, you know. But uh, obviously, Muhammad is trying to copy the Jews about circumcision. However, uh, when the Quran, mm. when, when Islam, he speak about uh, 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 women, uh, there is many hadith speaking about women circumcision. And this is where the Muslim, they sponsor those ideas of circumcision of women. And even the Muslim, they have uh, tons of articles about the benefit of circum circumcision of women. Exactly. Uh, yeah. yeah. So uh, yeah. if we if we go uh, uh, if we go in the hadith, yeah. Let us go in the hadith here. Okay. I'm trying just to find the hadith which is speaking about. Uh, no problem, sir. I'm ready to learn. Let us see if we can find this one in English. There we go. Okay. So, uh, this is a hadith about Muhammad, about Muslim women, they are practicing uh, the uh, circumcision for women. And then mm -hmm. uh, 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 they were cutting too severely, you know, they are really, uh, you know, hurting those girls badly. So Muhammad, uh, obviously this, this is causing bad bleeding and etc. So Muhammad, he didn't, he is the one who taught them to do circumcision. So he said to that women, uh, don't, you know, like uh, hurt badly don't don't be extreme in the cutting but this is where muslims they take it that it's okay to cut and we have to do circumcision for women and this hadith here is a sahih as you see wow so if uh, there is a big scholar uh right now in west africa specifically in the senegambia region i still don't want to tell you where i come from okay. the senegambia region might give you an idea okay and this guy this guy um, studied from Egypt or somewhere very close to that area, but he recently sided with campaigners yeah, from from the West, okay, mm. who are trying to outlaw, okay, this um, female genital mutilation. And this scholar also says that the practice of female genital mutilation is on Islamic. It's not. It's nowhere in the Quran. But me having your book. And listening to some of your um, videos for, mm. for two years now, it seems like uh, it's, I, I, it seems like I saw or I heard you saying that um, yes, uh, there is a hadith that supports something like that, and this is why I called tonight to make sure that I verify this. Yeah. Well, this is not the only bad thing here, but uh, the question is. Uh, uh, you know, there's many hadiths speaking about this as an example that uh, the khitan or circumcision for women supposedly mm -hmm. is to control the, uh, 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 the the sexual desire of the women so she will not be feel horny. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, uh, and this is mean that only Muslim man he can enjoy sex and Muslim women she should not enjoy sex. And actually this is why you will see that the wife of Muhammad she mm -hmm. she is obviously being circumcised and she never have orgasm. So if we go uh, and we read here, you will see that the wife of Muhammad, her name is uh, Umm Salama. Uh, okay. She said, do women even have this charge? 
do the women even have this charge and here you ask yourself why this woman she don't know what is this charge and she is the wife of Muhammad you know why she never had this charge this charge happened mm -hmm. because the women she got excited and if she is not either the man he cannot do it he's not making her excited she hate him maybe or the women she is circumcised but we, we have in front of us the wife of Muhammad she says do even the women have this charge so the wife of Muhammad witness that she is his wife and she never ever had orgasm and this is also one of the Sahih Hadith oh this is Sahih Bukhari in front of us here we go Hadith 130 yeah does a woman get a discharge and there is a big question mark uh, yes let your right hand be in those yeah so if you ask yourself <coughs> the Muslims uh, the, uh, the, uh, the Muslims they say uh, Muhammad was so strong in bed he you know he used to able even to go and do boom boom to all his wives even his sex slaves even in, in our which is uh, uh, the word sa in Arabic mean today hour but today uh, in the time of Muhammad mean like 15 20 minutes so in 15 minutes the guy who was able to do 13 women which is impossible this is a you know fraud but you notice here that the wife of Muhammad Sorry, herself yeah. she never had this charge so what is the reason Muslims can leave their comment and they can tell us is that because Muhammad he is not good in bed is it because well, Muhammad he did not even have sex with them or because those women they have circumcision yeah yeah or maybe she was circumcised uh, and for me I, I I told my mom hey look I don't want to marry any woman who is circumcised okay so I will go for this woman who are not circumcised, okay, so that I can enjoy and they will be enjoying. And he said, no, this woman will leave you and you will never be a happy man in this marriage, you know, uh, and I don't want you to come back to me crying, okay. So, um, yeah, but now that I noted this hadith and I will take this hadith to this scholar again, okay, because why, he is why like... You don't, why you don't uh, call the scholar him join us right now? Wow, this scholar is very big down there, man. And oh, I, I, I like I like him big. I will make him small. I promise you. <sighs> okay. Um. Did you uh, do you agree that you know if I can make I can establish some contact between you and this scholar? Yeah, just not, invite him right now. Call him in Skype, or you can call him by your phone. Put him in the phone. It's up to you. No, no, no. We are not staying together. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah, but he speak of course Arabic, and you are Arabic native Arabic school, of course. So you will no, be able brother, to No, brother, he can invite. A, do he speak English? Uh, I I will have to find out. I'm sure that he speaks Arabic. Okay, hmm. so for English, I will first need to talk to this this man, and after hmm. I will write you through text message. You know that you know it's me. And the second uh, clarification that I want you to make is about this Maliki uh, group. Hmm. Okay. Um, yeah, because this a student to this scholar also said, yeah, we in West Africa, we are into this Maliki school because it's the authentic version of Sunni Islam. Okay. Mm. Yeah. And try to justify that because me, I raised an argument that hey there was uh, there was uh, there because he said there was compulsion and uh, there was no compulsion in in, in, in Islam. And when I was going to primary school back in the Senegambia region, uh, one of our subjects is called SES, Social uh, SES. I now forgot it. Social Studies. Okay, Social Studies. And in this Social Studies, uh, we are taught how Islam um, came to our part of the world. Okay, through jihad. It is even called Soninke Marabu Wars. So okay. Soninke, Soninke is. Is is, is 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 our local language it only means those pagans Pe so ninke mean pagans mm. okay and uh, marabouts mean these scholars who know about islam so so ninke, uh, the wars between the pagans and the marabouts and in the school everybody in that area you go you you went to school you have to go to this curriculum okay mm. so i was like hey we all know when islam came to uh, our side and our people were never before Muslims. Okay, so mm. they were converted forcefully, terribly. People were massacred, and the book follows. And if, even the griots are even singing that in folklore uh, mm. in, in songs today. 
But he's like he, he he's adamant that there is no compulsion in Islam, and he even came up with a verse, okay. And because um, I have a lot of things that I'm doing, so I cannot even remember whether this verse is from Medina or from Mecca. From your books, I read it last year. There, uh, you are countering this argument in your book, okay? There, are, okay. there is also a verse that says that um, um, that that encourage Muslims to wage war, okay? okay? But, yeah, but this man is like, no, the verse that um, encourage Muslims to wage war. That is that is the first verse. But later, the second verse came that says that Muslims should not wage war. There is no compulsion. Will you agree with that? <laughs> no, those, those verses, those verses are abrogated. You know, the chapter of the Tawbah, okay. chapter of the Tawbah okay. is one is is almost the last chapter was given to Muhammad, and in that chapter it says, Bara'a. The first beginning. Mm. Actually, the real name of this verse, the chapter is Bara'a. So, Bara, I mean, yeah, the Toba. This is the real name of the Toba. It's not really, it's not, uh, uh, it's not uh, a Toba. It's called Bara, the real name. Even the Muslims agree oh. this is the real name. You know, uh, so in in the chapter uh, of a Toba, Muhammad is a hypocrite. So when he was weak, you know, he oh. said, "Okay, let us sign a peace agreement," uh, because simply we are weak. But when we are not weak no more, we are going to kill them all. So if we go in chapter of a toba and I will put for you the screen, in the, in the screen, uh, yeah. verse number one, you see in the translation it says freedom, freedom from all obligations is declared from Allah and his messenger. So he washed his hand from all agreement and all what he said before about signing mm. peace with those who don't accept him as a prophet. So go and attack in the coming four months and slaughter them all. All right. Mm. So the Muslims themselves they agree that there is something called abrogation and abrogated verses. So the verses yeah. about you know there is no complosion in religion. This is abrogated by the by by the chapter is... of the sword, which is a chapter of at Tawbah. All right. Mm. Yeah. So this is where when, I when they, when they quote I... when they quote this when they quote this then if this is true that there is no complosion in religion. Then uh, Quran is full of contra contradiction. Why? Because it's chapter nine, verse twenty-nine says it clearly: "Go and kill the Christian and the Jews unless they convert or they pages." Yeah. So if there's no conclusion yes, yeah. of religion, you know, then this verse yeah, is a yeah. is a is a fraud. Then, because they can't be both right, right? If there is, if if you cannot force a person to to accept a religion, then what this verse is about? And actually, that verse it was about the Muhammad saying to the to the Christian and the Jews. You cannot force your children not to convert to Islam, not the opposite. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's not the opposite. It's not about Muslim cannot force you. He was saying to the Christians, you cannot force your children not to accept Islam. Yeah. All right. So he, yeah, I, 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 I now got it. So I want this place to be very clear because uh, sometimes, like, okay, in your book it says, <laughs> Allah is the best of the decept, decept, uh, deceptors, okay, deceivers, and that is yeah. yeah deceiver, and that is not you saying that you are quoting. Like this is one thing I like from you, okay, and not only from you. Anybody I think who is doing this kind of work, you need to quote the source. You don't have to come with your own opinion because at the end of the day, we are very plenty in this world. Everybody can have his or her own opinion, okay, but you have to quote from the source, and. What I, what my point is like they can be very deceptive because for me I cannot remember or figure out which verse was earlier, okay? And he was like, hey, the earlier verse was that Muslims have to wage war, they have to fight, okay? Mm -hmm. Because um, uh, the prophet and his band were very persecuted down there in Makkah, and that was why this verse came. But later in Medina, there is another verse that says that nobody should be forced. But this is, I cannot, my mind, I cannot wrap my mind or, uh, around this after listening to you for a while. So, my and friend, did, I you decide, decided, did you decide to leave Islam or not yet? Yeah, uh, honestly, like, please don't tell anybody, okay? I, yes, I already said I'm from West Africa, okay? So, yeah, that's okay. They, they will not locate me. So, yeah, I, I honestly leave Islam, okay? All right. Okay, so as long as you decide to leave Islam, we are very happy for you. What about what do you think about becoming Christian? 
Yeah, uh, for me becoming Christian also, I try to um, I, I managed to got a copy of a Bible, okay, yeah. uh, to try to read myself when I was not very busy, you know. Uh, yeah, you know, and I came across some some passages that were really difficult to me, you know. Like what? Give, so maybe give I, me some, you know, so I can help you. Okay, the passages has to do with slavery, okay. Uh, has to do with uh, slavery, and I was seeing in the passages, the passage was like, hey, you have to obey your master. Even if your master is not looking at you, you have to hmm. you have to do your work as if he is working over you, okay? okay? Yeah, and I was like, who is speaking here? Is, is it some kind of prophet, or is it Jehovah or Yahweh, or who is speaking here? Okay. And the, uh, the few Christian friends that I'm having around, they said, "Hey, this is um, Yahweh or Jehovah, you know, the supreme power speaking." Hmm. You see, my friend, when when the yeah. Bible is speak about you have to obey your master, uh, mm -hmm. you know, and this is this is uh, uh, this is can appear in many places in the Bible. It's, it's speaking to the Christians, right? Because who is the one mm -hmm. who read the Bible? The Christians, right? Yeah. Okay. So, uh, when, when so yeah. we just before you call me, we just showed you. That even in the Old Testament, people they they sell themselves, their service to be a sl slave for the maximum of seven years, which means six years and one day, and after that they have to go let it free. So being a slave here is not about Christianity is encouraging slavery. It's about being honest. You sold you sold your service to your master. You are working for him. You are getting return in that. Let's say you are getting salary. You are getting wages. At that time, the wages can be you know like you have a debt. Let us say uh, you borrowed money from somebody, you could not pay him back. You say to him, I want to work for you for equal time of the money. Let us say I borrow from you $3,000. So, okay, how long, you know, it's uh, what is the wages at that time for $3,000? Let us say maybe three years. So I say I will work for you as your servant for three years. So the Bible is saying that you have to be honest when you serve your master. You don't cheat. You are not a liar. So when you serve, you serve with honesty. Mm. From your yeah. side, you have to be honest. Maybe he's not honest. Maybe he's a fraud. Maybe he's a bad person. All right? Yeah. But you, as a Christian, you always yeah. have to be decent with your master. So it's not about encouraging slavery. It's about being good Christians. Otherwise, Jesus never owned a slave, did he? He never owned a slave. No, no. Okay. Um, I never, I never came across a script. No, no. Jesus uh, never that... owned, never even owned a donkey. So Jesus never owned a slave. Never owned a human. Never owned an animal. Never owned a house. So Jesus and his disciples they went around the world and they were very poor. They never owned anyone. They never bought anyone. They never, you know, they don't have an army and soldiers and slaves and servants. Jesus himself he washed the feet of his disciples. Correct? You heard? I think you heard of that before, right? Yeah, I heard of that. And, okay. and, 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 so, so Jesus here yeah. is being a servant, and the disciples, they were the masters. He said to them, when they said to him, Lord, how you can, how you, how, how we can let you do it? I mean, you are our Lord. He's, he taught them, he said, you cannot be a master without being a servant. So a Christian master, he have to be servant too. Right? So, yeah. The servant so, like, here, my friend, when the Bible speaks about being obeying your servant, is about being don't be hypocrite. You yeah, will be a Christian like, and you do what you uh, you know what is your job is. Let us say I work now for Amazon, and I believe Amazon is a form of slavery. And actually, truly, I believe that those big big companies they are enslaving people. Calm down. You said what? Amazon. I believe Amazon and those big companies is a form of slavery today. A form of a slavery, okay. A form of yeah. slavery, yeah, because they make billions, trillions of dollars and you get eight dollars an hour, you know? So they're what you need them, you don't need you need them. So you give you give your life for them, you work for twenty years and then you get what? Hardly you can afford to, to buy maybe an apartment. But the one who is your master is a filthy rich, right? So this is a form of slavery, but this slavery is different today. You go home, you watch TV when you are done, you know. Because here the, the 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 master he don't want to be responsible for you, so after the eight hours of work, uh, go home because I wouldn't want to be responsible for you. Okay, just go. So slavery still is exist, but it's different form. People use so people we, today, 
is different the form. However, however, if I accept to work for the beast of Amazon or Google, mm -hmm. I have mm -hmm. to be a decent as a Christian. I promise them a service, I have to do it. So this is what the Bible is teaching you, to be a decent human being. Don't tell them I will do the work, but you don't want to do it. Right? Wow. Uh, yeah. So I think I need to look into this even deeper and um, check it very well. But for me, like I told you, this was like um, um, a shot down for me once I saw that. No, my friend, even the Bible, if you go, if you go to First Peter, it says, "Live as people who are free." This is okay. Live as people who are free, but he, but he is not free. Live as people who they are free, not using your freedom as a cover up for evil but living as servant of God. So live as people who are free. So even if you aren't free, live as a free person. How you can be a free person? By not being a servant of the devil. So freedom let me for ask, us, uh, freedom so for so. us as a Christians is not is to be free from the devil. Okay, not, from, I got that. not really from a master, because a master, uh, you know, it can be a job, it can be a, a good for me even, you know, I, I like, let us say I am exist now 3,000 years ago. When there's no companies, there's no jobs, there's hey, there's only rich people, poor people. What what I would do? What I would do? I will go to a rich man. I would say, I want to be your slave. At least he will give me my food. I will give me shelter. Otherwise, I will be homeless. I will die in the in the road. So slavery, slavery. If it's about yeah. if it's about capturing people to sell people, this is a different form of slavery. This is you are capturing people and you are taking their freedom and then you sell them out. Slavery in war will they slave you like the Jews we heard uh, uh, as the Old Testament says that the Jews themselves being enslaved the whole nation the Egyptian they enslaved them and the Assyrian they enslaved them too correct yeah, yeah okay so yeah. The, the Egyptian are what are they aren't they African the Egyptians yeah from what I understand during this time they were Africans and also like okay. uh, the color was not even changed during but the this point time. but the point is African mm -hmm. in the old days is enslaving people too. Correct? Yes. Okay. So slavery, slavery, it was a behavior, yeah. an act of all nations, regardless of the color. Black enslave white, black enslave black, white enslave white, white enslave black. So enslave Asian, Asian enslave Asian. I mean, slavery is all over. However, the Bible, when he speak about being obedient to your slave, is about being a decent person. Don't go and be a slave of a person and put poison for him. Because you are his cook. Mm -hmm. Christianity is against evil. This is why in First Peter says, like, act as if you are free. Act as, as if you are free. And in the same time, never use your freedom as a cover up for evil, but living as a servant of God. So, Okay. When you see the word slavery, ask yourself the first question, how many slaves Jesus owned? And then you will know that Christianity, if if, if a Christianity is a sp sponsoring slavery, well, here we go. We have someone, the Christian believe is God, right? Yeah. Okay. So if now yeah. Jesus said to me, hey, Christian prince, I want to be my slave, I would say I would be happy to do so. But Jesus still did not ask us to be slaves. He washed our feet. Do you see the point? Yeah. So I, Jesus I, I and he is God. Jesus and he is God. He came to come as a servant for us. But he's God. So Jesus, he washed the feet of his disciples. Why somebody, he believed in slavery, and he have people who worship him literally as God. Why he want to wash his, their feet? They should wash his feet. He's the master. He's the Lord. But you see here that Jesus is teaching us to be very humble, and to be not only down to earth, to be the earth itself. Like, yeah, it, it, be decent. You know, uh, I, yeah, it doesn't I, matter I what the price that. is. Yeah, I quoted these slavery uh, passages that I came across in the Bible, and it was very difficult for me. Okay, and you, and you can imagine like people like me um, with um, with heart and feel so terribly about when it's come to slavery. So um, I I was not understanding very well, but I thought like whoever is speaking here is not making justice because from my, my understanding, 
of slavery is that there is no righteousness in this partnership. Somebody just literally taking you and then you are rendering a service, yeah, and this guy has no sympathy for you. He can even literally kill you anytime. He can do any bad things to you. Mm. So you are just a slave. And even your children who are born into the system, they will also be slaves. People have to undergo a lot uh, terrible you know, time. So I was people they do, people they do yeah. things. But as I said to you, like in the in the in the book, in the Bible it says there's no neither a Jew nor a Greek nor a slave nor a free for all is one in Christ Jesus. So the Bible teaches us that all of us, we are equal. And this is in Galatians 3. All of us, we are equal. There's no black, there's no white. There's no Roman Greek, and there's no Hebrew. There's no Asian, there's no white man. There's no African, there's nothing. All of this will disappear with Jesus. So Jesus, my friend, will destroy racism, not only slavery. If a person is a true Christian, he cannot look at you down because you are black. And if a black person is a true Christian, he, don't, he, don't, he cannot look at a white man down because he's white. Why? Because Jesus, for he, God, he loved the world. He sent his only begotten son. He loved the world. So you are from Mali. I am from the Middle East. You are African. I am an Arab. But I believe Jesus, he came to me the same as he came to you. He did not come to the white. He did not come to the black. He did not come to the Asian. He come to all of us for God. He loved the world. So my friend, according to Jesus, you are being loved and you are a child of God. And Jesus, he loves you. This is why the Bible make it so clear for all of us when we are baptized into Christ. We have the clothes of a Christ. So I invite you today to accept Jesus as your Lord. So you can receive the baptism and you can be me and you we can be free forever from the slavery of the man and the unjust of a human being. Because in the heaven of the Lord, there's no unjust. In Islam, Allah will give you 80,000 child as slaves. Endless numbers of females as sex slaves. Even in the heaven of this garbage religion, there's a slaves. With Jesus, he and she, they will not be married. They will be the same as angels. So what Jesus meant, that when you are a Christian, you will be free like an angel. He will free you from everything, even from your needs. You do not need food. You do not need sex. You don't have a master. You don't have a slave. You do not yeah. desert, desire yeah. anything evil. So Jesus, he free you. Muhammad, he enslave you. So I'm asking you now, my friend, would you accept Jesus as your savior? You do? Yeah, I'm, I'm a little bit scared, okay? I don't want to make any terrible mistake that I will regret for the rest of my life, okay? So one thing I can tell you that, you know, I'm convinced uh, from the evidence that I see so far, okay? I cannot be a Muslim. That's when I'm convinced, yeah? So I have to find a way to talk to my mom about this, okay? Because I, yeah, I share everything with my mom, okay? And she's the only person in the world who can understand me, yeah, like the rest, okay? So, yeah, but I know it's going to be difficult, and I know uh, she's going to be so, yeah, but I hope that eventually she will have to accept it because she loves me so much, and I love her also, yeah? And for me to uh, just um, stood here and tell you, yeah, I, I can be a Christian today without even, you know, getting myself familiarized yeah, deeply about, the Bible and Christianity and about the life of Jesus, etc. I think it will be a little bit premature. And this is nothing against you, yeah? Please. No, it's okay. You know, for me, I, I for me, I invite you, I explain to you, and it's up to you to accept or not. Anyway, okay. feel, feel free to contact me in any time if you if you think you have more questions or if you decide about to accept. Yeah, right. about this caller, I will I will make sure that I establish contact. If it works, I will text you. Always, yeah. you do not need you do not need to tell me. You just tell him. You know, you can just bring him and let him call me if he dare to call. Yeah, and before I leave you, my brother, my dear brother, um, what what is your take and understanding about when Jesus was asked in the courtroom? Is he really the kings of the Jews? But he was not answering as I am expecting him to answer, you know, he was like, you yourself say it. Um, so, yeah, so he said, why, why are you asking me if you if you know who I am? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I, for me, in my own little uh, 
or my um, not very advanced knowledge. I was expecting Jesus to say, yeah, if the accusation was correct, yes, what they accuse me is, yes, I am the king or I am not the king. I am okay, the king for sure, and that's why they crucified him. You see? Yeah, but he himself did not uh, confirm that. No, he confirmed. He, was, he said, you said so. He did not say, uh, no, I am not. He said, you, you said so, so you just admit that I am the king. Okay, that's his conversation. That's his way of okay. Wow. Yeah. See, yeah. My, my friend, if you say to me, uh, mm -hmm. uh, uh, let us say I claim to be a prophet, mm -hmm. and you say to me, are you saying you're a prophet? I, I say to you, you just said so. So you, I'm saying to you, are you stupid or what? You just agreed that I am. But don't you think that's a person, a person in the court? He don't want to be punished. He will say, no, yeah. I did not say that because this is why they are he's there. Because he claimed to be the son of God. He claimed to be the king of the kings. So they are they are reading for him the crimes he did. So he should say, no, I did not. <laughs> so he can save himself. right? So he did not say no. He said, no, no, he said uh, so. What I'm, my, perspective, my perspective is that uh, Jesus Christ is a righteous man. He is even considered as a God. Uh, he has no errors. So I was expecting him to say, yes, I'm the king of the Jews. Because uh, at the end of the day, he, he, he said has that already. But, you know, yeah. Jesus did not need to say what he said a million times. The whole idea of him to be there is because he claimed to be a person who forgives sin. The Jews, they said to him, who is the one who, who, who forgives sin? You know, how you can forgive sin? Isn't it only God forgives sin? When Jesus says, before yes. Abraham I am, before Abraham I am, he is claiming to be exist before his birth, right? Yeah. Okay, so before Abraham I am, that's mean I am not like you. I am exist since the beginning of time. When Jesus says, I am from above, you are from below. Well, what does that mean? Yeah, uh, there is somebody from above except God. So you are from above. Uh, you know, uh, I, I am from above. You are from below. Do Jesus need to repeat that again and again? So they are taking him to court for a very simple reason. Because of all those mm -hmm. things he said, not only one thing he said. All of them is a crime according to the rabbis. And he have to pay for it because he claimed to be God. King is not a big deal. I mean, being a king or not. And Jesus obviously is not being a king as a normal king of today. The Bible is speaking about him, the one, the one who will come and he will be, the, he is a king of the kings, not a king, you know. So the king of Israel is not about being a king of a nation called Israel. It's about the king of all mankind, not a king of, with the, you know, he have a throne from the Roman. If the, yeah, if, this the was, if the Caesar, if the Caesar of the Roman, he liked Jesus, he say, okay, you you will become the king of Jerusalem. I will make you a king. Go ahead, but that that will not make Jesus God, All right? Yeah. When so, I was uh, when I was seeing these passages, I was like, oh, the politicians in Israel during this time they were scared that Jesus will over uh, overtook them or overthrow them, and this is why this question came. Are, are you? Is this situation correct that you are the king of the Jews or Israel or I can't remember the exact wordings, but it's it's like this is what he was asked, and Jesus was not answering like um uh, directly. He was like, yeah, you yourself said it, and as a result, he was crucified. So then we can say the crucifixion of uh, Jesus Christ was even legitimate or just there is no problem in that you know so uh, what did you think about the crucifixion uh, my, jesus friend, my friend the bible is not a sentence is it is a it's a life story of jesus correct uh, so, yeah, uh, so in good. order to understand who is jesus you have to read what jesus said not only one one sentence so like the jews they said to him uh, uh, should we pay tax to caesar should we pay tax to caesar Jesus did yes. not say pay tax or don't pay tax. He said to them, show me the coin you have in your hand, you know, in your pocket. Do you have some coins? Show us. So the, the guy, he grabbed, the rabbi, he grabbed a coin and, uh, uh, you know, uh, he told him, okay, th this picture in the coin is belong to whom? He said to Caesar. So Jesus says, give to Caesar. What is to Caesar? So here Jesus did not say pay tax. He never said pay tax to Caesar. He just told them that you are a bunch of hypocrites. You are questioning if we should pay tax 
but you are using the money of the Caesar because the one who don't approve Caesar tax should not approve his money too right <laughs> correct yes good point yeah yeah so if I don't agree this guy he is my king so why I'm carrying his money why I'm carrying a coin have his pictures Maybe because the coin, uh, the coins can uh, get you some stuff that you might otherwise not have. So it's maybe selfishness, you know. Yeah, you just want to. Uh, there is you. It's, it's your interest that if you can use the money to get something. So even if you don't like where the money is coming from, who create the money, but you can use the money to, you know, to gain your own. Um, satisfaction in it, but this is me speculating. I don't know if this is this this was their reason. Okay. But your point is well made. You know, if you don't agree agree with the king, you don't you don't you don't, you don't have to do anything that comes from the king. Yeah, but I think this is very very difficult. Like today in the modern world, many people they don't agree with the politicians. They think they, you know they are like in contradiction with what is going on the regulations. But every day they are taking the stress and ban. You know, community train going to work, coming back. You know, so they it's crazy, man. I don't know. But for me, I decided not to be a Muslim. So now it is two years now I'm not a Muslim. And during these two years, I yeah I, I came across a, a lot of um, materials. But the best material that get me what I want, okay? I have right. to be honest. Okay, my friend, it. you know, uh, uh, anytime, feel free to call me and I will be happy to take you, all right? Okay, thank you very much, sir. Thank, thank, you, thank you very much. Thank you very much. <clears throat> we have a Muslim here. He is saying he want to read for us a verses from a book. And those verses he is saying, well, here it says that you can take a slave, a male and female, and you can buy them from other nations. Here we show you how stupid you are, Abdul, the one who is posting for me this comment. The Abdul before you who called me, he says, a man, he is selling his daughter. So I was answering about a man selling his daughter. But we never said in the Old Testament there's no slavery. <laughs> we are speaking about a man who was selling his daughter. So you are a certified idiot. And look how hypocrite you are. You quote for me the book chapter 25, verse number 44, 46. But why you did not quote the verses before it? The answer, because you are a mule and you are a hypocrite. We as a Christians, we don't deny what is in our book. It is you Muslims who deny it. And remember, we are comparing what is exist three, four thousand years ago to the mentality of people today. Yet, even three thousand years ago, if a master he broke a tooth of his slave, he have to let him free. If he broke a tooth of his slave, he have to let him free. So if a human being want to be honest for a second, that a human being cannot be a Muslim. In the same time, if slavery is bad for the Mohammedan, all of Islam is about slavery. Nobody owns slaves as much as Muhammad. The Caliphate, one of the Caliphate, he have in one palace more than 10,000 women just for breathing dancing. Not even for cooking, not to serve, just for belly dancing. Muhammad himself, he have tons of them all around his house. Muhammad, he received slaves as gifts. So when you bring us the Old Testament, the Old Testament was exist long before the faith in Muhammad is exist. Human being is going forward. Muhammad is going backward. This is the truth. Muhammad is a scam. If Christianity into slavery, then Jesus, why he did not own slaves? What is the problem exactly? Who is holding Peter and Paul 
and John and all the disciples of Jesus to have slaves. It is the time of slavery. Jesus who made the blind see, cannot he make money to buy a slave? Let us say he is not God, as the Muslim they claim. Why he don't act like Muhammad? Can't he ask the 12 disciples to go and buy some sword and attack people in the street and arrest them and make them slaves? Muhammad even forbid a Muslim man to marry a slave girl. Look at the madness we see in front of us. If you go in the Quran, you will see the following. Let us see which verse. <clears throat> when a Muslim woman, she married her own slave. She was executed. Let me try to find the story. All right, we found the reference. This is a very well-known Islamic terrorist website, Al Islam Su'alun Wa Jawab, Islam Question and Answer. This is fatwa number one five three seven one eight. Question: Is it allowed for a woman? To sleep with her slave we will find later the answer no what about marrying the slave no translate I will use Google translation is it a permissible for the women to have intercourse with her property they translate the word the abid which means black slave as a property answer it is not okay why because she is a lady okay we continue is it forbidden for a slave to marry his mistress to marry to marry not to sleep to marry the answer no. Okay, why a Muslim woman she cannot marry her slave? Is it? If we go in the Bible, can a man marry his slave? He can. In Islam, you can have sex with a slave if she is a female. But the slave, he cannot have sex with Muslim women and he cannot even marry her. What if a Muslim slave, he married without permission of his master? If he do that, he committed adultery.
So my friend, we as a Christians, we do not deny that in the Old Testament there is a slavery. It is the Muslims who try to cover up all the stupid things in, in the world. There's a video of this guy, son of Muta, uh, Uthman ibn Farooq. He was speaking to a Christian woman. He says, in the Bible it says your property. Do you agree with that? In the Bible it says your property. Do you agree with that? Or the Quran says your property. So those cowards, they have no dignity no honesty and now let us see if this guy who wanna get me busted he can speak to us do you have the courage to answer the talk let us see Text terrorist, you don't dare to answer. Let us see other Abdul. <clears throat> yes, Abdul, how are you? You are a Hindu or you are a Muslim? I'm a Hindu and I'm an audible to you, Christian print. So, what? I'm a Hindu. Uh, actually, I am. Uh... The correct word is not Hindu, it's Sanatan Dharm, but it's okay. okay. I'll go with Hindu. All right, why are you uh, calling me? I'm very glad you accepted my call. Thanks. Uh, but like, uh, well, I thought you like... You, you, uh, you said you said you no, would be busted, Because so I, I mean, thought like, you know, normally YouTubers, they say they accept calls, but you actually do. You know, that's like, you know, hats off to you. I understand what? Like a lot of people, they say they accept random calls, random people, but they don't. But you actually do. So, you know, hats off to you. Yeah, because you said to me, you want to get me busted. That's why I was interested. Yeah. Right? Because I like yeah. to see somebody yeah. get me busted. You said very, very funny thing. Okay. 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 Like, uh, if I hold a coin or a currency and the person who is on that currency, hmm. uh, I, I feel like he is my king. Okay. Hmm. So, who do you have on your currency right now? The dollar. Yep. So, yeah. who is whose image is on the dollar right now? Who, whoever I am, I am American citizen. I wasn't the American. So, Army. so is 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 that person your king? Yes, he is. He is the ruler and the cover of the country. So, do you have uh, like uh, who is uh, like no? Uh, I'm for like Joe Biden's image on that photo. My friend, he is the president right now. Yeah, he can, he can, he can send me to jail if he wants. Yeah. He is Sorry? in charge. He can, he can go and go in war. He can attack your country. So he is the king of this country. So what the problem now? Yeah, but but his his image is not on your uh, currency, yeah, right? Don't be silly. Don't be silly. So what? what so you said that. Yeah. Okay. So that, yeah. No, it's, it's we, silly, we right? will not say that. You it's, are just silly, you are right? just being a silly. You know, Mister Beef. Listen to me carefully. When Jesus yep. he saw to them, at that time the coins will have the same image of the Caesar. So who is the one who his image there? They no, said Caesar. Yes. So, so he said to them, "Give yeah. what to Caesar to Caesar." And you are being silly. I agree. I agree. So either you speak but smart, or I'm going to when, argue when, you. when British were ruling India, yeah. so we had British images on India, right? Yeah. So, so you, that you, means okay, like you, okay, hold on. So let us let us ask you: When the British they rule India, you obey who? We, we don't obey. We were, you know, forced to obey. That is a different That's thing. That's it. You obey. Okay. And those the Jews are forced to. They no, are, not, not they everybody are is obeying. Not, not. Listen, see, people are listen, openly listen, saying. Listen, just, just, just go. I mean, I want to speak to people. They have even interesting point of anything. Don't waste my time, stupid idiot. The Jews, they are in their occupation too. And they've been forced to. So they are being hypocrite. If you really are a revolutionary against the occupation, then don't carry the money of the occupation. Use your own money. Use money of anybody, but not the one who occupy you. So they are hypocrite. They are standing in the court, which is a Roman court, which means the rabbi, they are taking their authority from the Roman, their position from the Roman. The soldiers who arrested Jesus, they brought him to the court, they are Roman. 
And yet they are hypocrites. They don't want to say that we are obeying Roman. <laughs> Mr. Hindu, I appreciate you, you know? And I, I believe Muhammad appreciates you too. This is why he made the biggest chapter in the Quran, the cow chapter. Don't please tell, tell me about philosophy because obviously your philosophy is awkward like Muhammad. You know, I like to speak to smart people. What when somebody is a stupid, don't waste my time. The purpose of that question is if Jesus said, pay the tax to Caesar, then he is approving the authority of Caesar. So how he is the king of the Jews. If Jesus said, don't pay tax to, G to Caesar, he will have a problem with Caesar. <laughs> but Jesus don't care about both. Jesus, he said to them, you are a bunch of hypocrites. You have the money of Caesar. You work for Caesar. You get salary from Caesar. All those rabbis, they get paid by Caesar. What people don't understand that the Roman they occupy the Holy Land, but the rabbis they are under the authority of Caesar. Their houses is exist. They have salary. They live fancy life. This is why they are the council in the court. The ruler he just do. They are the jury. The ruler he does just do what they say. Who you want me to crucify? The rabbi, they say Jesus. So they are there because simply they are employee of Caesar, not only carrying the money of Caesar. You remind me of Zach and Nike, brother and sister. Today I'm going to tell you something about India. In India, we like curly. And because we like curry, we are very curry people. Abdu, what's wrong with you? What kind of logic you brought to me? However, Zach and Naik, he come to us with better smart argument than yours. He said that uh, Hindus and Muslims, they share the same concept of God. And maybe that explains why you are being stupid, like Zach and Naik. This is Zuzu telling us about the concept of God. Accepting that candidate as God. And this is exactly what is also mentioned in the Hindu scriptures, the same four points. The first is, Kul Allah Ahad. Say he is Allah one and only. Same as Chandogya Upanishad, chapter number six, section number two, verse number one, which says, Ikkam Evidityam, God is only one without a second. The second point, Allah Samad, Allah the absolute eternal. Same thing which you mentioned in Bhagavad Gita, chapter number 10, verse number three, that Almighty God is the supreme Lord of all the worlds. Point number three. Lam yalid, walam yulad. He begets not noise because. Uh, look at those, uh, look at those potatoes. They are looking like, huh? So now we became Hindus. <laughs> hey Christians, anytime a Muslim he says to you, we worship unique God, no one like Him. Tell him you are a liar because Zach and Naik, he says that we have the same concept of God. If the Muslim, they say, we are people who believe in the monotheism, say to them, well, the Hindus are monotheists. And this is the video in front of you. Even it's called the concept of God in Islam. This is how desperate those potatoes are. And now the cousin of Zach and Naik, he called me, Christian Prince, you said that he said to them, throw me the coin. But what is the coin in your mixer, in the mixer of the dollar you are today? Do you have Joe Biden? I mean, look how silly. Don't get married, man. Don't get married. She will leave you. She will leave you even with the turtle. Even the turtle is so fast. I mean, so slow to, to run. But I think she is faster than you. I feel sorry for your wife. Is that how you talk to her? 
Do you have the big set of Joe Biden in the dollar today? Oh, because we don't have the big set of Joe Biden, that means Joe Biden is not the president. Because in order for him to be the president, we have to bear the big set of Joe Biden. Okay? You are genius, man. Don't just please with Hindu people, Indian people. Don't make this guy a prime minister. He will screw you. Look at the deep logic. Man. That's deep. We have to admit that's really deep. I hope I hope your mother should not make many of you, many copy. I mean, make many babies is okay, but copy like you, that's that's horrible. Do you have the picture of the Biden? Thank God they don't put his picture there. Man. They will not put his picture, they will put their, you know the thing. We are created by the thing, you know, and you know the thing. You know, even Joe Biden do not know his name. So do you have the picture of Joe? Where, where, where those people coming to me from? I mean, God, what I did to you? Oh, God, please don't send me this idiot, please. Enough is enough. <laughs> Thank you, Lord, for everything. <laughs> oh, boy. You know, when I say stupidity is amazing, I have my reasons, and it is amazing. Sometimes you are, you know, people, they say to me, well, God, they created us all as equal, right? Yes, he did, but people, they choose to be donkeys. They choose. I mean, why this guy, he come to this such a conclusion? This guy, he was sitting home, listening to me, and supposedly he got an idea. Oh, I'm going to call him now. I get, and this is what he said to me in the in the, in the, in the chat. He said, I, I, uh, I get you red-handed or something like that. So I get excited. Okay, this guy, when I get me busted, let us see what he want to say. And then he called me to prove to me that the Vixar is not Joe Biden there. That was deep. My friend, how they will take even the picture of Joe Biden if the guy never, he's just asleep. He cannot even keep his eyes open in front of the camera for two minutes. Anyway, I hope today we have a good time exposing this coward, this liar, uh, to Eva Singer. And if you are a Muslim, I advise you for fun, for the sake of fun, tell this coward why you don't dare to debate the Christian prince. What he will lose if he is a rabbi and he have a strong knowledge is it going to be a problem and i offered him i sent him an email even i made a comment in his page would he dare ever this potato you are just a snake. You are not even a man. Do you dare to say to the Muslim the say what you the same what you say to the Christians? Do you dare to say to the Muslim that Jesus is not the Christ and your prophet is a liar? You are a potato. And here we fried you. And actually, you turn red. Look, when I started the video, he wasn't red. I mean, what happened to his face? You were in the beach, weren't you? Huh? Ah, bad boy, what you are doing in the beach, hamster? And he speaks like Zach and Egg, by the way. Unbelievable. So I hope we have a good time. Don't forget to download my videos. I want to remind you that soon we will start going in my other channel, Arabian Prophet, not this one. So don't forget to subscribe to the Arabian channel page so if we stop coming here you will not think we disappear all right we will be in the other channel i have those two major channels this hand this one have a small number just 73 number thousand something like that we will move to the other one because we waited for sleep for some time this is what i do i put one for sleep and then i go to the other one you know it's just a backup channel so soon we will be in the other channel and we will continue exposing hamsters yesterday we make a video about hamsters Few of you watch it, I don't know why, which is funny and extremely uh, uh, good for you, for your health. Don't you want to know how Allah 
he warned us about hamster that hamster was hired by satan and he worked for satan please watch it it's just a video we made yesterday all right and with the hamster prophet i mean if muhammad became a prophet why hamster will not be that is a good question isn't it if muhammad actually hamster is way more decent we have to be honest here can we compare even a hamster? Have you ever heard of a hamster saying to the other hamsters, let us attack the neighbors, they have a blondie hamsters? They don't do that. Have you ever heard of a hamster saying, if you follow me, I am Mr. Hamster, you are going to get an Indus penis hamster? A hamster will not do that. Have you ever seen a hamster saying any hamster female she want to give herself to me so she can get close to allah as the guy who called me and we hang up on him that's what he said to us why women they want to sleep with muhammad he says because muslim women they are attractive for famous one but this is allah saying that what famous one and the coward he changed his mind last time he called me he says because they want to be close to allah so how you can get close to allah by being close to his prophet penis have you ever heard of a hamster saying you can be close to god by being close to the hamster penis even hamster don't do that so do you have a brain of hamster i don't think so hamster is smarter god bless you christ is lord and we are he is strong with faith and we will never be ashamed of our faith not like them those cowards who deny jihad who deny slavery, who deny their hatred, they deny that they abuse women, they deny everything in their religion. Why? Because they are ashamed of it. With the Christ, we have no shame. With the Christ, we have no slavery, for he never owned a slave. I don't follow a Jewish rabbi who owned a slave. I follow Jesus. He never owned one. He never ordered to own one. He never said to go and have one. And even the law of the Torah, God, he gave Moses the Ten Commandments. That is the commandment of God. There's the law of the man and there's the law of God. The law of God, don't kill. Don't lie. Don't cheat. Don't, 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 don't. That is the law of God. And the law of Jesus is in total agreement. Don't kill. Don't cheat. Don't lie. Wish to your neighbor what you wish to yourself. That is Jesus. Who is your Muhammad? We will find out more in the coming episode. Subscribe. Be free to join us. You can join us in Patreon if you like. So you can be updated about where we will be in the coming broadcast. God bless you. Thank you very much. Christ is Lord. Islam is a scam. And Islam without lies dies. Take care. I mean, again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. The people of Mecca were pagan. The Quran has mentioned if this book was from other than God, they would have found in it many contradictions. If a book is without contradictions, that has no bearing on whether it comes from God or not. I've had phone books that are inerrant, but I certainly don't think God gave them. <laughs> that we believe without understanding. The brothers asked a very important question that most of the scholars say that listening to music, watching movies, and most of the television programs, they're haram. So how can we have fun? Let me tell you, brother, at the outset, that having fun is permitted in Islam as long as the fun is halal fun. <laughs> that the standard narrative 
has holes in it. The prophet tells us because Satan or the devil sleeps over our nostrils. Those who oversleep and not pray Fajr on time, Satan urinates in their ears. I really do think Jesus was crucified <laughs> and that he really was dead and buried. He, he thought that he was a son of God in the sense that he was specially chosen by God. I think Jesus really did think he was going to be the Messiah, the future king of Israel. I mean, that is, after all, why they crucified him. <laughs>